Well, this presentation is about the project team and the project plan. So we start getting really practical about brand projects. Every branding project, of course, is different on both the client and the agency sides, but there are some roles that are standard across all projects. On the client side, the client team is typically made up of people from the marketing function, but it could include people from other divisions within the company. So here's a typical team structure on the client side, where we've got a customer insights director, a brand director, a marketing director, a public relations director, working together under the chief marketing officer. On the agency side, there tend to be three core disciplines, um, account management, strategy, creativity, but the team might include other specialists too. So here are the three, account director, that's the client services bit, strategy director, that's the, the thinking bit, the planning bit, and creative director, that's the, the design bit. But almost certainly they'll bring in other agencies, other specialists. And often this means working with partner agencies. They may have similar team structures, um, but they might have different names for some of the roles. So here are some of the typical partner agencies that the lead brand agency might involve in a project. And of course, teams aren't static. Things change in the life cycle of a project. Different skills are brought in at different points. Every project, as we said, is unique, but here's one approach to mapping out the work that needs to be done, which is a linear approach, four stages, defining the task, and then imagining the future for this brand, and then actually making the changes that make that future happen, and then finally, long-term, living the brand. These are some of the questions that get asked and hopefully answered at each stage. And here specifically is what the team would work on at each stage in this process. So in terms of a timeline, a project might look like this, with, with a bit of overlap from one stage to the next. And the final stage, living the brand, of course, continues indefinitely into the future. But as an alternative to this linear process, people are increasingly talking about a more agile method. And this is borrowing methods from the software development industry. And here work is done in very quick sprints of one or two weeks. And each sprint looks at all four of the boxes in the four stage method. So the whole thing gets looked at quickly in a sprint. And the team focuses particularly on making things. The, the aim is to translate the brand idea into practical objects every sprint and testing those objects with customers, employees and others. By measuring their effectiveness, the team quickly learns how to make them better so that in the next sprint they can create something that works better. And this is called rapid prototyping. So the emphasis is not on thinking, 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 but on quickly moving to action, testing it and improving the thinking. And many people think this is a quicker way to get great results. So in very simple terms, it means that every sprint you are thinking, but you're then making something practical testing it out in the market, measuring the impact, and using those measurements to improve your thinking in the next sprint. 